Hey guys, in this video we will convert the content from multiple text or CSV file into Excel. We will do this on a real world example. A subscriber asked for help on our Discord channel and I thought the solution I came up with might be also helpful to some of you. So let us look at what we are trying to solve. In my current directory I have an input folder. Within the folder I have multiple text files. Those text files contain the test result by students. So when I open up a file, this is what it looks like. We have the student's ID, followed by the answers for the different questions. A tab separates each value within this file. And for every student, we have two of those files. So one for the English results and one for the math results. Our goal is now to create one workbook with the test results per student. If I did it manually, I would open up the text file, copy the values to my clipboard, open the Excel template and paste the results into the respective sheet. So after pasting the English results, I would need to go back to my input folder, find the math results for the respective student, copy the values to my clipboard and paste them into the math worksheet. Once done, I can save the file and include the student's ID in the workbook's name. This is, of course, a ton of work, especially if you are dealing with hundreds of those files. So let us see how to automate this task using Python. First things first, let us install the required dependencies for this project. Therefore, spin up your terminal or command prompt, type pip install pandas and excel wings and hit enter. Once we have that out of the way, let me open up a blank Python file. As a first step, I will import the libraries. To deal with the different file paths, I will import path from pathlib. Next, I will import pandas as pd and excel wings as xw. After that, let us define the different paths we will need, starting with the current directory of this Python file. We can get it by using the parent attribute on the path object of the current file. If that is not available, for instance when you are using a Jupyter notebook, I'm using the current working directory method. Once we have the current directory, I can construct the file path for the input folder, which holds all our text files. Additionally, I will specify the output folder. If that folder does not exist, we can create it using the pathlib method make directory. However, if we already have a folder called output, pathlib will raise an error. You can ignore that error by setting exist ok to true. By setting parent to true, Pathlib will also create any missing parent directory. As a next step, I will list all text files inside the input directory. This is what the files list would look like. And last but not least, I will also define the file path to the Excel template. With our paths in place, let us now think about how we can group the two different text files. So as you know, we have two files for each student. One for the English and one for the math test. I was thinking of creating a set of keys. So the key for the following text file would be this. In just a moment I will show you what we are going to do with that key. But first we need to create this set of keys. To do so I am iterating over the list of files. For each file I will split the name by the underscore. This will create a list of items. Yet I only want the first three items. Afterwards I will convert the list to a string using the join method. To ensure that I do not have any duplicates, I have converted it to a set. So the key set will look like this. Next, let me show you what we will do with that information. As a first step, I will open an Excel instance in the background using Excel rings. For each key, I will now open our Excel template. The idea is now to iterate over the text files in the input directory. If the file name matches the key, I will insert the content of the text file into the Excel template. So first I will iterate over the text files. Next I will check if the file name starts with the name of the key. If that criterion is met, we know that Python found either the text file for the English or math results. Next I need to check if the file name ends with underscore eng. If so, we will create a pandas data frame from the text file using pd.readcsv. In our case, the values are separated by a tab. Once we have stored the data in a pandas data frame, we can insert it into the Excel template using Excel rings. The English results should go to the English sheet in cell range A8. 
as I do not need the index, I have set it to false. Ok, and now I will simply repeat the same for the map files. I just need to make sure to change the sheet name. After we have inserted the values into the template, I will save it to the output directory. For the file name, I use an f-string and concatenate the key with underscore results. Ok, and that is all there is to it. Now, running the script might take some time depending on how many files you are dealing with. But once done, you should have a new output folder. Inside this folder, we will now have all the generated spreadsheets. And just to validate the results, let me open up one workbook. If I go to the English sheet, we could compare the values with the ones from the text file. Ok guys, and that is all I have for you today. As always, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.